what's up guys my name is Erica Amanda and thank you so much for coming back to another video if it's your first time watching one of my videos thank you for coming I love you already and if it's not your first time being here what's happening fool how you doing thank you for coming back so for today's video it's going to be a continuation of the fall series this is going to be fall look number four and I'm thinking of doing just a quick little easy to go tutorial i think i think that's what i'm feeling like today something quick and easy something you really don't have to take so much time for so if you want to see what i have planned i ain't gonna lie i really don't got nothing planned i'm kind of just gonna see what, what what really comes up all right but yeah this is gonna be something quick and easy and yeah I hope you guys like it. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is look number four of the fall series, serving looks with a quickness. Even though it's a quick look, we still gotta start with the primer. I'm taking the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer and I'm gonna use that to prime my face. Next time I'm going with the brows, I'm taking my NYX Micro Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Espresso. Okay, so for this part, I kind of did my brows a little bit on the bushier, crazier side, but I'm gonna go in right about now with some concealer and just clean up a bit, but I kind of want it to be a little bit more on the lighter side. So I brushed out everything and kind of just made it look like a bit more fluffier. It looks crazy now, don't worry, I know, don't fret. Now it's time to carve them out. Next, I'm going to take a flat brush alongside my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. This is in the shade Warm Honey. I'm gonna use it to carve out my eyebrows. Okay, so quick little tip. If you are really and truly in a rush and you don't have time to carve out your brows with like concealer or whatever, do it with a shimmery eyeshadow. So like a highlighter eyeshadow. Do it with the same color that you use for your highlight. That way, it'll just accentuate the eyebrow bone up here. You don't have to go through this entire step. I'm just doing this because I've gotten good at doing it quickly and doing it the way I want to quickly but words of the wise if you don't want if you really really and truly just don't have time pop some highlight under your eyebrow and call it a day now that we're done with that i'm gonna take some little extra concealer that's on my hand i'm gonna pop some on my lid Okay, and now that we're done with that, it's time for this huh, shadow business. I'm gonna hop into the Jackie Ina palette for this look. The first color I'm gonna grab is Ginger, and I'm gonna sweep that right in through my crease and kind of right above it as well. In order to do this look, if you don't have the Jackie Ina palette and you don't have the color Ginger, so you can always just find a color that looks kind of like that to achieve the same look you don't have to have it the same palette you don't have to have the same colors find whatever you can and use it for my next color i'm going into the same palette i'm going to grab pinker and i'm going to go deeper into my crease and bring it more into the inner corners of my eye Next thing I'm gonna do is go back into that same ginger color and same brush that I was using from earlier. And I'm going to clean up up here and make sure everything blends together. For my next step, I'm going back into pinker and I'm going to just fill out the rest of my lid down here. If you do not have pinker, pinker is more on the, it's a deeper pink, it's a deeper type of pink, but that is what it looks like in there. So if you can find a color or something along those lines, then that'll help. Next time I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my finger and I'm going to rub up in sponsored right there. So what I'm doing for this is I'm patting the majority of the color off onto the center of my lid. And then I'm patting the excess off on the outer and inner corners. That way everything blends together. 
It has this beautiful shift and it's so pretty, but it blends in really nice and just adds a little bit more pizzazz to this look. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the matte purple color right there called Big Wig. And I'm going to basically draw almost like a U around the shimmery green that we just put on there. And that's just to add a bit more definition to the look, but we're doing it very, very lightly. That way we don't, you know, kind of mess it up. I kind of want this just to be like really subtle. And I already did to this eye. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like there's a bit more of like the purple on the outer corner and the inner corner than there is like over here. But yeah, so first what I'm doing is I'm putting on the outer corner, lightly tapping, and I'm gonna lightly tap and put it on the inner corner. And then I'm going to just draw the U right in where the crease is, so define it a bit more. And there we go. So one trick that I really like to do when I don't like doing liners is I go in with a dark eyeshadow. So either like a dark brown or a black and I basically create that line right above or right in my lash line, right above my lash line. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go and grab Credit and I'm going to dip in it with a smaller brush like that. And just like if I was going to do a liner with like a gel liner or whatever. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna do it with this brown eyeshadow. And that is going to save a lot of time. Like I said, if you're doing this like a quick look to go and you don't have time to do the liner because God knows once you do it wrong, ain't no coming back for it. And then you might have to start all over again. Yes, I'm ranting because yes, it happens. But you could always just do this. And so I'm literally just gonna run the color right over my lash line. If you wanna flare it out, flare it out. That's up to you. I'm not gonna do it for this one, but there we go. If you don't like this and you wanna go a bit darker, please feel free to, but I want this to be just a very subtle line. I don't want anything that crazy. And if you're worried if my lashes might like hide this or like take away from this line, I'm not using lashes for this look. I think this would be really, really nice just on its own, but we're gonna make sure we use some bomb mascara. <laughs> so that way you can still see my lashes. Again, if you are really rushing, you might not have time to use lashes. Trust me, I feel you. There are days where I have time and I still don't want to use lashes. So this is a pretty good alternative to the liner and to the lashes as well. Now that we're done with the eyes, we're going to move on to the face and I'm going to go right into foundation. I'm going to use my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in the color Mocha. So one thing that I found out while just doing my makeup and I, I think I, I wasn't trying to figure this out. It kind of just happened. Say you don't want to use a lot of foundation because sometimes like you just might not want to. Dab a little bit on your face, right? This is literally just one pump I've used. Take your brush, beauty blender, whatever you're using and spray it if your beauty blender is already wet you might not have to do this but if you do say like you wetted it earlier before you started doing like your eyes or whatever and then it dried you can also do this take your setting spray and spritz your brush or your beauty blender or whatever and then it helps the foundation just spread out a bit more that way one your foundation lasts longer and two you don't have to be kind of caking your face up we don't have to. I literally just use one pump and I'm about to cover my entire face. This is just one pump. I'm going back to the LA Girl Pro HD concealer that I was using earlier and I'm going to conceal the rest of my face. Next, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Deep. I'm going to use that to go over all the places where I added concealer, and then with a lighter hand, with less product, I'm going to use to set the rest of my face. So before I go ahead and wipe the rest of the extra powder I have on my face off, I'm gonna grab Credit and I'm gonna grab Big Wig and I'm gonna use those to go on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go in and wipe off the excess powder off the rest of my face. To 
to contour, I'm gonna grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, and this is in the range medium to tan. For my blush and my highlighter, I'm going to grab the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to be using this color and this color right here. So for my highlight, I'm going to be using Honey Slope. And for my blush, I'm going to be using Heartburn. Now, Heartburn comes off a bit like, <coughs> and I don't need to be doing all that. All I need is a. So I'm going to go really, really lightly on this. If anything, I might just use my finger and tap in a little bit and then just kind of like buff it out with a brush later on but that's what we're gonna go that's that right there and I'm going to lightly just I'm kind of afraid to put too much but it has like that nice plum color I don't mind it it's kind of pretty Rihanna why did you call this heartburn that's that's the real question yeah we're just gonna tap this one on and because it's like out of the highlighter palette it also technically is a highlighter itself i feel like it looks a little bit on the muddier side i'm going to grab just a regular brush nothing on it and i'm kind of want to just buff this out because this is actually one of the things i was kind of afraid of with using this as a blush like it gives a good color when i'm when you're like i'm not looking directly at you but the moment I go like this, it kind of looks like my face is dirty, like right around here. So with that in mind, I'm going to grab an eyeshadow because that's usually what I use for blush. I'm going to grab an eyeshadow. This is the Morphe 35C palette, and I'm going to grab that color right there. This also comes off very pigmented, so I'm going to do this one a little bit on the lighter side too. Oh, see? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Now onto Honey Slope for my highlight. Okay, so in my brow bone, I went in to the highlight palette and I grabbed that color right here. This is Scandalize. And I'm also going to use that in my inner corner because I did do an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna spritz my face down with my All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. For my lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Great Lash, their big collection, and this is in the shade Black is Black. That thing made my lashes look so wow. Hmm. And lastly are the lips, and I'm gonna try a new combo today. This is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss, and so this is in the shade Black Cherry Tart. And this one is the NYX Butter Gloss, and this one's in the shade Ginger Snap. I love this, I use this literally for everything, anywhere. If I'm not using the Fenty Gloss Balm, I'm usually using this one. This is universal lip gloss. These are bomb. No matter what color you get them in, they're always bomb. I'm gonna try it with this one and we're gonna see how it looks. So for this dark color, I'm actually gonna put it in the middle of my lip and I wanna see what it does. And now to go over it with this one. And we are done. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I think I really, I like this look. Like I say, I really don't plan these looks out like ever, but this one definitely didn't come out the way that I thought it was going to. It's a bit more on the vampy side. I don't hate it, you know? I think there's always that, there's different types of fall. Like there's different types of fall look. It could be the classic, reds, oranges, mustard yellows, burnt oranges, browns, or it could be something like this where like, you know, you're kind of playing on like the spookier side of things and I kind of like it. I've been meaning to do something with like 
berries and like berry colors and like greens for a minute so i'm actually pretty happy that i was able to do this one and it's actually pretty cool the lip glosses that i used for this look kind of makes it look like i have like a like a lip stain and kind of just put clear gloss on top of it which i'm not mad about i actually like this please tell me if you want any more looks for the fall series i think i'm still gonna continue it at least up until like thanksgiving i hope you guys liked this vampire take i have on a quick easy look to do there's not a lot of hard work with this one i did this one a pretty quick time frame actually now that i'm looking at the clock thank you guys so 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 much for watching and as always bye what missa huh don't forget <laughs>